Hey guys, Ben here with the Easy Review. Today I wanted to talk about the DM16 and what it's going to be like. I heard from a source, which may not be 100% reliable, that the ASA will change. This person said they got to hold a prototype of the gun. Uh, I never saw the gun, so this is kind of speculation. Uh, now, we all know that there's been a little bit of hate for Dai's current ASA. Personally, on my DM-14, I I don't mind the ASA. I think the ASA is perfectly fine. Um, but apparently, a lot of people disagree with me. And they think the ASA is just a little outdated. Now, with the new Pops ASA from Planet Eclipse, I do agree that Dai should probably step it up a little bit. Um, Dai is known for making the breakthroughs, usually. And then, all of a sudden... You know, a Planet Eclipse is like, hey, we got a better ASA than you now. And it's like, whoa, hold on. Die usually does that. And they usually already have the better stuff. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a bit of a Die fan, so... I mean, I'm a little biased, but... Uh, you know, the ASA was... The only, uh, quote-unquote, confirmed change that I've ever heard of for the DM-16... So for the rest of this, I kind of just want to speculate a little bit on what I believe will be changed based on Dai's past trends. Uh, you know, you know, with the uh, DM14, people didn't like how wide the foregrip was. Uh, they thought the feed neck was too high profile, which you know, I guess some people like the slimmer grips. Uh, I mean, that's fine. Personally, I think the the wider foregrips a little bit better. My hands, my hands are a little bit smaller, but I guess the wider foregrip just feels better for me. Uh, the feed neck, and you're shaving off like barely an inch, probably a little bit less. Uh, and the jewel on the ASA on off is a little bit larger on the 15, which it's like, well, who cares? Um, it's a jewel. And... I heard there was something with the bolt. The bolt supposedly is ever so slightly better. Um, but really, you know, it's die. There's not a there's not a whole lot of changes. Because um, at this point in paintball, we've we've seriously like hit just it, it, we've hit a point in technology where it's not going to go that much further for a while until we get some huge breakthrough. Um, you know, back when the NTs came out, they 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 were the most efficient guns ever because instead of using air to slide the bolt backwards, uh, I believe they had a spring in them somewhere. So like when the bolt went forward, uh, the bolt would get pushed back. It may not have been a spring, but it was it was set so the air wouldn't have to suck the bolt back. Uh, so it, the gun used less air whenever it sent the bolt forward, and that's why NTs became the most uh, efficient guns out on the market. Uh, so I mean, you know, you'd hope we, I would hope something like that gets added to the DM16, because if if Die is never going to release an NT again, I don't know why they don't want to use that particular method of uh, sending air through the bolt, just because it's more efficient. Yeah, I think that'd be a big selling point for them, and it would actually encourage people to upgrade to a DM16. You know, a lot of people like their efficiency. You know, if you can send 17 pods through a, a gun, you know, so that a lot of people will pay extra for that. And, you know, honestly, I feel like there's not a huge need to. Um, but, you know, when you have lots of money to drop on paintball, most people don't mind doing it, especially when it's got something cool like, you know, being the most efficient gun on the market. Now, uh, for other changes, I believe will be made, uh, they're probably going to be really small. They're probably going to keep the four grips just the same. Because people seem to be okay with with these four grips, um, I doubt the feed neck will change. Maybe they'll try to shave off another two centimeters or something like that. Um, UL grips will say will stay the same. I mean, currently some people don't even like how thin they are now. But I mean, die. They're ultra light grips. They're supposed to be slim. Like that's that's their whole gimmick. Uh, they might change the design of the trigger. I mean. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with the reach trigger, and this is like this is all just maybe, maybe they'll do this stuff. Uh, there's not a whole lot 
wrong with what they have now, but for me, the biggest thing they could do is make the gun more efficient. Uh, DMs are a poppet gun, so you know, being poppets, they are already more efficient than things like geos or uh, egos, because there's uh, geos and egos are spool valves, and spool valves, while they're less efficient or quieter and they they shoot a little bit smoother, you know, you're getting the same FPS and the you know the same distance off of your shot, but you know it's just a little bit. It feels smoother and sounds quieter, so maybe you're a little sneakier or something like that. But you know personally, I I would trade the spool valve for a poppet just because it's more efficient and it does make it easier not having to think about air as much. You know my friends who own spool valve guns are airing up after every game, not necessarily because they have to, but they know if they don't do it soon enough, they're gonna forget, and so they tend to air up after every game because they know their gun can really go through air. Uh, but anyway, DMs will most likely stay with the poppet design. A lot of people like spool valves nowadays, though, so who knows? Die may reach into that area, but I highly doubt it. And honestly, uh. The biggest thing I predict is that Die will come out with a new product this year uh, after the World Cup. Uh, like I said in the first video, I really hope it's an NT. I want them to bring it back, and they got rid of it because it competed with the DM. You know, it's hard to sell two high-end markers that are roughly the same price when the DM can perform at a slightly lower level, but for cheaper. You know, and they're still almost the same gun. You know, die can't just, they really can't justify keeping an NT on the market when their DMs are going to sell better and they're losing money on NTs because it's just, the production cost is huge. And if they're not selling that much, they can't really justify continuing production. But I hope they find a way to bring them back because honestly, if you've ever shot an NT, maybe you'll agree with me. Some people have conflicting views on NTs. Um, uh, it's it's honestly one of the smoothest guns you'll ever shoot. Even though it's a poppet, I really don't know how it does it, but it's smooth, it's quiet, and it's efficient, and I love it. Uh, but anyway, that's about all the speculation I have for the DMs. I'm really looking forward to what Dai uh, has coming up this World Cup. I imagine we'll be seeing some new damn colors. Uh, they did reveal that stainless steel pretty recently, so probably not anything super special coming out for the dam. But, uh, you know, DM-16s, let's have some high hopes for what they're going to change. Because, I mean, I think, to be honest, we, we don't want to see another, another gun that's basically the exact same. You know, the DM-14 and DM-15 were almost copies, and it was just like, okay, come on. You got to do better than that. But, you know, people still buy them, so they can continue to do that if they want to. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.